All right, welcome back. Today it is patch day, at least in the public test servers over on PC. If you guys want to link to that, I will link that down in the description if you want to download it and try out season one for yourself yet this weekend. Now, as you can see, the background is now a little bit different. So what I wanted to do first in this first video was definitely go through the battle pass, give you guys my thoughts, my first impressions. I haven't looked at anything yet. I just loaded up the game. So let's take a peek. We're gonna go to battle pass and we knew that we were gonna get this one shot, one kill fixer rare outfit. It looks good it looks good i like that so i will also say that there are two different types of battle passes there's the battle pass there's i guess there's free so as you as you go through this thing there will be some things that you can unlock for free in the battle pass so we'll, we'll, we'll touch on those as well so instantly if you get the premium battle pass you will get access to all rewards which will include these rewards so the ones that are marked in free are the ones that you will be getting if you don't purchase the battle pass but you won't get the gritty grinder you won't get the getaway bag you won't get wrecked. You won't get account boosts. You won't get this RGB weapon wrap. And that, that looks pretty nice. I like that. Okay, so if you want to get the premium, premium is going to cost you 1,000 rogue bucks, just like I said in my prior video, as well as the elite pass bundle is going to be 2,000 rogue bucks. So with this 1,000 rogue bucks option, you're going to get the three premium rewards, access to all rewards, 20% battle pass XP. And if you want that 2,000, so about $20 USD, if you want the elite bundle, you'll be getting plus 15 battle pass tiers. That's the only difference between the two. So if you think the difference between a thousand and two thousand an extra one thousand rogue bucks is worth 15 battle pass tiers for you let's look at what that will unlock let's look at the first 15 tiers so first we have the one shot one kill fixer then we have the neon psychedelic epic primary wrap give you guys a little bit of a look both sides of this thing i like this i know people in the discord really like that skin a one hour account boost now if you don't know how account boosts work make sure to watch my prior video on season one patch notes I'll just leave it at that. So this will be a two, one hour, two times boost to level and rogue mastery. You can only have one boost active at a time. Lime camo, rare secondary wrap. We have fossilized. I'm not so big on borders and banners, but some people might be. All right, let's watch gritty grinder. So I like, I like Gritty Grinder. What I don't like though, is that you can't really see what's going on when, the, when she's dancing down, down here because the, the UI is in the way. You can't really see what's going on. I wish when you selected one of these, kind of the UI, all these, all these items went away and you could really see what you're looking at. All right, the getaway bag, we data mine this one. 30 minute account boost at level five of the battle pass. And it looks like battle pass experience is zero to 300. I assume it's not gonna be 300 uh, the whole way. It's probably going to be progressively more difficult to level up. I don't know. No one started this yet. We, do, we have no idea. Uh, and I, I assume once you get premium, this logo right here will probably change over to the gold one. It'll probably actually end up looking like this. And I just saw this. So season time remaining 50 days, 18 hours and 22 minutes. I'm gonna have myself in edit mode tell you what date that is for when season one might be ending. All right, next up, we've got the tin star, rare avatar. Now I saw this stuff while I was data mining the game and I wasn't sure if the battle pass itself was gonna have some kind of a theme to it. I thought it might be Western themed, but it doesn't really look like it's themed at all. So this is the tin star, you get that at level six. Then we've got wrecked uncommon spray, another account booster, RGB weapon wrap, like we saw earlier. I really like this one. I think this looks really cool. We have the Savannah hunter rare border, like I said, that I don't really care about borders, but we have the 150 rogue bucks. Now I'm gonna kind of spoil this for you guys right now. I know that there's only four of these. Four times 150 is 600. What that means is that if you purchase the battle pass for a thousand rogue bucks, you're actually not going to make that back. You're only gonna make back 600. I don't know if that's gonna be different once season one actually comes to the full released game, but right now you're gonna be in a 400 rogue buck deficit, which is unlike almost all the battle passes that I know of in other games. Almost all of them allow you to purchase the next battle pass. I would have thought that these would have each been 250 rogue bucks not 150. I feel like they're making a poor decision here with the 150 rogue bucks instead of 250 rogue bucks because all the battle passes that I know of, you can recoup how much you put into the battle pass if you're able to finish the whole thing. Of course, they stack the end of the battle pass with most of the coins so that a lot of people can't quite get there, but still, at least you can make back all the coins that you put in. That said, let's move on. Eminent rare title. So titles, borders, banners, I don't really care so much. I really like the weapon wraps. I really like melee weapon wraps. I actually kind of like avatars. 
and I really like character skins and wingsuit skins. So let's keep going. 45 minute account boost, Ter Terrorizer, uh, rare avatar, it's Dynamite. That was the other theme that I wasn't sure if it was gonna be Western themed or dinosaur themed, but I don't think it's either. Stunt Double Dallas, we saw him in the data mine files as well. Looking good, looking good. We've got the classic boom uncommon spray. I also do not care about sprays at all, but some people like their sprays. A 30 minute account boost. Next up, we've got Jade uncommon secondary weapon wrap. I think we already have the Jade weapon wrap for primaries, but this looks like this is just for secondaries. Radio Future Border, Roman Candle. That's kind of cool. What's interesting is I saw this in the data mine files as well, but I didn't post it because I didn't know if that was already in the game. All right, level 21, you're getting 150 more rogue bucks for a total right now of 300. 45 minute account boost at level 22. A pterodactyl terror rare banner. The Cthulhu, he who sleeps rare avatar is level 24. Level 25, we've got snake. I like that one. I like that they, if they're gonna do something with sprays, I like that they're making it a little bit more meme -y. I like that. 30 minute account boost at 26. 27 is the batters up, struck out. Okay, this edge. <laughs> All right, at least this answers it for me that this wasn't in the game yet because I, when I data mine this, I really thought that this was already in the game. Then we've got the yellow blocked camo. I actually think that this looks kind of cool. I like this. I like this. This was digital camo in the in the game files, but I like that. 150 more rogue bucks at level 29, so we're almost three fifths of the way, 60% away through battle pass, and you'll have 450 of your coins. Four pack rare spray, a little bit more serious of a spray. Another account boost at level 31. Nefarious epic title at level 32. Tough Guy Trench at level 33. I like this skin a lot. It gives me Terminator vibes, but it also kind of gives me like Crocodile Dundee, Australia Outback, or like New Zealander vibes is, is really what it gives me. Now that I look at it and I can see the whole thing and rotate it. I really like this skin though. Really, really, really well done. Vaulted Rare Avatar. I think that this will tie in with a heist game mode coming later, but we'll, we'll have to find out and see on that. At level 35, you get the one hour account boost, legendary account boost. Level 36, you're going to get Toxicity, Epic Melee Wrap. Level 37, the Hardened Epic Title. Ooh. At level 38, you get the Neon Lights. Now, what's cool about this one, I actually like this one, and it's border, but I... <laughs> I like it because it actually relates a lot to the esports org that I'm signed with, um, Solo Fide, and it looks very similar to their branding, so I'm probably gonna start rocking this one. So that's, <laughs> okay. All right, so this is Fitness Stomp, Epic Emote, Athlethal, Athlethal, wow. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, I don't know what kind of Fitness Stomp this is. If I saw somebody doing this at the gym, I'd be pretty terrified. <laughs> All right, now we're on to the last 10 levels of the Battle Pass. One hour account boost at level 40. A Frostbite Rare Primary Wrap at level 41. Oh, wow. I, I like this. It looks like it's almost kind of see-through in that, well, it looks like there's ice on the inside. I like that. I like that. And 150 Rogue Bucks at level 42, you will have gotten all of the rogue bucks back that you'll possibly get in the battle pass this is up to 600 like i said not a thousand we're up to 600 at level 42 we've got dima's valentine rare border another account boost at level 44 and the epic emote the popcorn emote and yes it is just like fortnite where you just throw the popcorn up to your face i love it i love what they did with this i was hoping they would do this when i'm data mine this it's nice it's nice it's nice i love it <laughs> oh it's great all right there it is you guys there is the jetpack uh at level 46 so this is going to be an epic wingsuit i don't actually know how this will function in game and if it will be a jetpack only and there won't be wings or if it will be just a reskinned wingsuit and there will be wings i hope i hope i hope it does not have wings and it has some kind of a jet trail here for the jetpack and you land with the jetpack instead of with the wingsuit at level 47 of course there it is the expensive taste rare primary wrap it's looking good this one was called coins in the data mine files I love it. Here's your golden gun that you've all been waiting for. Looks good, it looks really good. Level 48, we've got the Notorious Legendary title. And at 49, we've got the Legendary Avatar. So this is when you get the avatars at the very end of the battle pass, which is interesting. And then of course, at level 50, we've got Hellfire Protocol Scorch. And I think this little halo thing comes out of her head. I just don't know when. All right, so that's it for the battle pass, but I do want to go back through here and look at, if you don't buy the battle pass, how much do you get? So you're gonna get a 30 minute account boost. You're gonna get the 10 star rare avatar. You're gonna get Savannah Hunter terrorizer avatar the 30 minute account boost the roman candle oh you know what this is a this is glitched from before so this is 
you see the little halo coming up right now that's supposed to be part of that scorch skin it's not part of the roman candle and it's not part of ronin you're also going to get the pterodactyl terror and another 30 minute account boost the four pack rare spray nefarious epic title the toxicity epic melee wrap and 150 rogue bucks which is nice which is nice and the nefarious legendary title the other thing with the battle pass i will say one last time is that you're not going to get this 20 percent battle pass experience by purchasing into the battle pass but at the same time even if you purchase the battle pass you're only going to get back 600 of the coins that you put in which was a thousand or two thousand if you wanted to buy those 15 first tiers and those 15 first tiers you guys once again i'm just going to show it on screen here one shot one kill fixer neon psychedelic one hour account boost lime camo fossilized pretty grinder getaway bag 30 minute account boost tin star wrecked 30 minute account boost rgb savannah hunter 150 rogue bucks eminent 45 minute account boost terrorizer and stunt double dallas getting that 2000 rogue bucks uh bundle though is going to help you get about a third of the way through the battle pass so if you think that's worth it for you you may be short on time you want to get that be sure to do that if you want i also do want to check out the store the store is always different in the pts so we've got crimson monarch which is going to be for kestrel and the rapper keeper as well as blitz berry and dr disrespect dallas is in here we have toxic rare spray hack and slash rare emote take a look at this ah there's the throwing knife guys there it is I wonder if that's coming in the game soon or if that is all it's for is this prop in this emote. Dumpster fire, a little salty, candy blue, gun maracas, star spangled, windmill shake. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, whoa, a little aggressive there. All right, I like that one, I like that one, it's goofy. Be gone rogue, Ugh. that one's new, definitely. We got the spray and pray. We have Server Mechanical that's already in the game. Jurassic Rare Banner already in the game. Uh, the Toxic Camo in the Cheetah Print. And we also have Exotic Threads. I really like this skin for Talon. I'll be maining this one, that's for sure, on my Talon once it actually hits the game. It's going to be the first week of February. You guys are going to ask me in the comments, but it's the first week of February, okay? First week of February. Tell everyone, first week of February, season one, all right? I've mentioned it in about four videos now. So season one, it's probably gonna be February 3rd because they usually put out updates on Wednesdays, which is the first week of February. The first Wednesday of February is February 3rd. All right, then we have I Want You, Totally Fine, Hearts and Drones, Construct Orange, Giddy Up, Incoming Message. This one I think is already in the game. It might not be. All right, so that's all that one is. Here's the Aqua Caustics Rare Primary Wrap and the Modern Art Uncommon Secondary Wrap, the Served rare emote i don't know if this one's in the game i feel like it might be maybe not maybe not they do such a good job on all of their emotes um ooh, rouge rouge company <laughs> i like it i like it so many people spell rogue wrong i like that they took this and uh <laughs> they did something with it it's a good looking spray too if you know what i mean all right gold lining uncommon primary wrap oh this one doesn't look as good as i thought it would it looks it doesn't look gold it looks more like a like a brass like i'm i'm playing on a trumpet or something we have the cinnamon swirl i like this one i like this one it's kind of making me hungry and i just ate breakfast i could eat again though jeez coffee break man look at this they know everything but i've got my dog mug i've got my dog mug that is a big mug high res send me that mug i want that thing that thing looks nice <laughs> I like that one. I'm definitely gonna be. I'm definitely gonna be getting this one when it comes out. Real Snake Force. I think that one's already in. Raspberry Jam. There it is. And then we have Take the L Rare Spray. I like this one. I'm not really a spray kind of person, but I like this one. You knock somebody. You break them down. You make them take the L. Oh, good stuff. Soccer Ball Juggle. I think this one's new as well. They got a lot of really good emotes, guys. Really good emotes. Leopard Print Uncommon Primary Wrap. Smooth Moves. Is this one in? Oh, there's one very similar to this, but I don't think this one's in the game yet. But this one looks very similar to another one, which I don't remember the name of it, but it's very, very, very similar. Company of One Rare Spray. That's great art. I like that art. I want to know who all the artists are that work on these things, because hi -Rez does such a good job with their cosmetics. Merciless Rare Banner. This one's going to be for reputation. I like it. I like it. And then at the back end here. Wow, there's a lot. Um, Okay, so we've got Downhill Lancer, Motocross Shock, Redline Scorch. I think that these are all rogue skins. I'm going to try to get that full, full picture here. All of these are already in the game, as far as I can tell. I'm going to make sure we get a full rotation. This is one more rotation here. Okay, yes. None of these are new character skins. These are all all old character skins thank you guys so much for watching we're going to be checking out kestrel today we're going to be looking at saints uh rework and a whole bunch of other stuff so stay tuned be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done that yet and hit that notification bell if you want to know when a new video goes live it really helps me out helps the channel out we're super super close to our next milestone i'm hoping to hit it before season one comes out so thank you guys for all the support so far i appreciate you guys i'll see you next time